Good morning, Pastor Brian here. Thank you for joining me as we read a chapter a day. Today, the second chapter from Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. Feel free to follow along uh, in whatever translation you like the best. Brothers and sisters, we have a request for you concerning our Lord Jesus Christ's coming and when we are gathered together to be with him. We don't want you to be easily confused in your mind or upset if you hear that the day of the Lord is already here, whether you hear it through some spirit, a message, or a letter supposedly from us. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way. That day won't come unless the rebellion comes first and the person who is lawless is revealed, who is headed for destruction. He is the opposite of every so-called God or object of worship and promotes himself over them. So he sits on God's temple, displaying himself to show that he is God. Remember that I used to tell you these things while I was with you, don't you? Now, you know what holds him back so that he can be revealed when his time comes. The hidden plans to live without any law is at work now, but it will be secret only until the one who is holding it back is out of the way. Then the person who is lawless will be revealed. The Lord Jesus will destroy him with the breath from his mouth. When the Lord comes, his appearance will put an end to him. When the person who is lawless comes, it will happen through Satan's effort, with all kinds of fake power, signs, and wonders. It will happen with every sort of wicked deception of those who are heading toward destruction, because they have refused to love the truth that would allow them to be saved. This is why God will send them an influence that will mislead them so that they will believe the lie. The result will be that everyone will be judged who is not convinced by the truth, but is happy with injustice. But we always must thank God for you, brothers and sisters who are loved by God. This is because he chose you from the beginning to be the first crop of the harvest. This brought salvation through your dedication to God, by the Spirit, through your belief in the truth. God called all of you through our good news so that you could possess the honor of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold to the traditions we taught you, whether we taught you in person or through our letter. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father loved us through grace and gave us eternal comfort and a good hope. May he encourage your hearts and give you strength in every good thing you do or say. It's the end of chapter 2. You know, the, the whole first part talks a lot about um, this uh, person of lawlessness. And, uh, you know, I think what uh, Paul might mean is simply... Um, a, not necessarily a specific person, but maybe just uh, a group of people um, who cause destruction. Uh, and so Paul is trying to encourage the Thessalonians um, that, you know, as, as hard as that may be when you see all of these terrible things happening around you, that you need to, to stand firm in your faith, which I think is, is maybe even the more important thing to, to focus on here which is what he says in verse 15. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold on the traditions we taught you, whether in person or through letter. And so, uh, you know, much like how Jesus talks about how the thief will come in the night and we won't know the day or the hour or the moment that it'll happen, but eventually something will happen, is basically what Jesus is saying. And what Paul is saying, but it's not us for know the day or the hour when, when, when God comes. What, what is important is for us to be ready to stand firm in our faith, to hold on to our faith, and to know with confidence that when that day happens, that we have uh, a, a firm foundation in which we are standing on which is our faith, which is our belief and trust in our God and Father and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, as much as we hear occasionally in the Bible about 
uh, the destruction and the deception and the wickedness, uh, you know, especially in the book of Revelation. It's easy to focus on that negative side of things, but the more important part, as I mentioned, focus on what we can do and what we can control, which is standing firm in our faith of the God who gave us grace and hope. And those are the things that we should pay attention to and hold on to. So what did you hear? What did you like? What did you struggle with? Did you struggle with the, this, this person, this man of lawlessness? Uh, write it down. Share it with a friend. Um, be okay with struggling. Because know that through that, as you look for answers, that will help you grow in your faith. That will help you stand firm. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and God bless.